Llama 4 just launched and Mark Zuckerberg cannot stop flaunting how it is going to accelerate open source. Hey everyone, it is Llama 4 day. Our goal is to build the world's leading AI, open source it and make it universally accessible so that everyone in the world benefits. And I've said for a while that I think that open source AI is going to become the leading models. And with Llama 4, this is starting to happen. But it is a disgrace to open source and it is nothing like open source. And in this video, I'm going to argue why we should stop calling Llama 4 as an open source model. You can call it an open model. You can call it an open weight model, but it is not open source. I'm going to tell you what is the problem with this. Let's take a simple definition or a principle, fundamental principle of open source. Open source promotes universal access via an open source or free license to a product. That means anybody should be able to access your product without a lot of hic hiccup. I mean, you don't want to have uh, this like a bank locker where you need to have a key, go put your some weird password and then finally get That's not how open source should ideally work. Even models like DeepSeek and Quen from Chinese companies, just go there, download it. But I'll tell you the problem with Meta. So Meta's model here is for you to download the model, you need to first of all, log into your hugging face, which I can understand they could have spam issues, then fill in a form and be sure to provide your full legal name. I mean, why would I need to give my legal name to download a PyTorch weight or some random binary file with date of birth, with full organization names, all corporate identifiers. I, I, I don't care if Meta is going to use it or not, but this is very, very bad. Avoid the use of acronyms and special characters. Failure to follow these instructions may prevent you from accessing this model on and others on hugging face. You will not have the ability to edit this form after submission. So please ensure all information is accurate. I don't know if this is from hugging face or if it is from Meta, but the fact that this is slapped on Meta model, not any other model, like I'll show you Quen model. You go Quen. And uh, if you just have to check Quen, Q W E N Quen, and you can just like go download any Quen model. I mean, it's not happening with Quen model. If you want to go download, you can download once you log into it, the model files are available here. You can't even see the model files. Like you can just see it is there. It's a Z X E T format, but for you to access it, you need to enter this key. So that also means anytime you're going to use a hugging face model anywhere to download it, you have to add your hugging face token because it's a big pain and I'm going to wait for Ancelot to actually download this and then release another version. The second thing is you have to agree to Llama 4 community license agreement and this community license agreement is honestly a disgrace to open source. The fact that Mark Zuckerberg is openly flaunting that this is open source, open source, open source. This is not open source. Why? First of all, you can't use a Llama 4 if you have got let's say a company that is that has got more than 700 million active users, which, you know, like I honestly like care the least at this particular point because I don't have 700 million. And uh, if you are like 700 million monthly users, maybe don't don't use it. Like I know this is against the fundamental principle of open source, but I'm going to just leave it as it is. So 700 million monthly active users Mao, if you've got, you can't use this model. So there is this affiliation uh, with the organization. If you're from Google or maybe like OpenAI, you can't use this model. Okay, for all these poor guys like us, we can we can use the model. But I'll tell you the other problems that I've got with this. The other problem starts with the redistribution. This is Llama license. I'll link it in the YouTube description for you to go check it out yourself. I even just thought like, you know, maybe it's like 2 a.m. and I'm hallucinating. So I checked the license with Gemini just to make sure that I'm not hallucinating. The first problem starts is if you distribute or make available Llama materials, then what you have to do is you have to display that it is built with Llama. I mean, why? Why should I do it? You want to accelerate open source, right? You're not looking for any benefit because you believe in open source. Just give the model and I'll use it whatever I want to use it. I'm not going to do this. This is stupidity, complete stupidity. And the stupidity doesn't even end there. I'll tell you further what is stupid. So if you use the Llama materials or on any outputs or results of the Llama materials to create, train, fine tune, or otherwise improve an AI model, which is distributed or made available, you shall also include Llama at the beginning of any such AI model name. For example, if you take Quen and then, you know, do some kind of like fine tuning with Llama related model, then you have to call it Llama Quen, a Llama Deep Seek, Llama GPT-4. I mean, one is saying built with Llama. Second one is you have to prefix the name. Like you have to say Llama and then some other model. I don't think this is open source. 
Then the next thing is you must retain in all the copies of Llama materials that you distribute. Like if you fine tune something and you're give, going to give it, must include the following attribution notice with a notice text file distributed as part of such copies. It should say Llama 4 is licensed under Llama 4 community license, copyright meta platforms in all rights reserved. I mean, if I'm going to redistribute it, I have to make sure that this, this is the license that is present as a notice inside every copy of Llama. So if you go here to their model file, you can actually see that this is the license file that is available within the model. And then they want you to include this in every other copy that you share. I sent this to Gemini and then asked it like, oh, Gemini, I'm being dumb because it's 2 a.m. Probably I should be sleeping. And I asked it like, is it open source? Does it pass being open source license? And uh, no, this license does not qualify, fully qualify as an open source license based on the generally accepted definitions and principles of open source. And it gives me why. First of all, there is a commercial restriction. Forget about it. Second, built with Llama, add a prefix to Llama, add that further notice. Why these issues matter for open source? Open source licenses like those approved by OSI adheres to these principles, freedoms to use, freedom to study, freedom to redistribute, freedom to modify, no discrimination. Oh my goodness, you can't even download this model. And if you get banned by Meta once because you provide some wrong details, then you can't download this model from Hugging Face ever. I mean, what stupidity and mark you want to claim this is open source? This is not open source. And if any of you have any thoughts about it, I'm happy to learn and correct it myself. But otherwise, please do not call this open source. I believe that calling any stupid model that comes to Hugging Face as open source is a disgrace to what stood or what is open source, who stands by open source. This is not open source, just open weight that you can download and use it with a bunch of restrictions. See you in another video. Happy prompting. Hey everyone, it is Llama 4 day. Our goal is to build the world's leading AI, open source it and make it universally accessible so that everyone in the world benefits. And I've said for a while that I think that open source AI is gonna become the leading models. And with Llama 4, this is starting to happen. Uh, Meta AI is getting a big upgrade today. So if you want to try Llama 4, you can use Meta AI in WhatsApp, Messenger, or Instagram Direct, or you can go to our website at meta.ai. Uh, today, we are dropping the first two open source Llama 4 models, and we've got two more on the way. The first model is Llama 4 Scout. It is extremely fast, natively multimodal. It has an industry-leading nearly infinite 10 million token context length, and it is designed to run on a single GPU. It is 17 billion parameters by 16 experts, and it is by far the highest performing small model in its class. The second model is Llama 4 Maverick, the workhorse. It beats GPT-40 and Gemini Flash 2 on all benchmarks. It is smaller and more efficient than DeepSeq V3, but it is still comparable on text, plus it is natively multimodal, this one is 17 billion parameters by 128 experts, and it is designed to run on a single host for easy inference. This thing is a beast. Then we've got two more models on the way. One is Llama 4 Reasoning, and we're going to have more news to share on that in the next month. And the last one uh, we are calling Llama 4 Behemoth. Uh, this thing is massive, uh, more than 2 trillion parameters, I'm not aware of anyone training a larger model out there. It is already the highest performing base model in the world, and it is not even done training yet. We're gonna share more about Llama 4 Behemoth soon. Overall, Llama 4 is a milestone for Meta AI and for open source. For the first time, the best small, midsize, and potentially soon frontier models will be open source. Uh, there's a lot more to do, but the trajectory here is clear. We've got more model drops coming soon, so stay good out there.